Natamwa, Wati, Nerangon, Natuk, Will Austin, Pikirang, Kila, Wanang, Kurnong, Mala. Hello, my brothers and sisters. Uh, my name's Will Austin. I'm a proud Kira Wanang man from Southwest Victoria. Um, and I'm here today to um, just quickly announce that we are starting up our own cultural mentoring programs here at Yarnbark. Um, and we're a grassroots Aboriginal led organisation really are hoping to gain your support. Our cultural mentoring programs are going to be based in, in regional Victoria. They're going to be structured as fortnightly um, cultural workshops, um, intensive one-on-one -on -one cultural mentoring and, and regular bush camps over weekends. Our, our cultural mentoring programs are aiming to revive um, traditional knowledge systems of passing down knowledge and learnings and, 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 um, you know, and experiences to the younger generation. I suppose at Yarnbark we're trying to, you know, promote both material and non-material non aspects of our culture. This is all based on traditional ways of, of mentoring young people, um, you know, through their younger years into becoming strong, healthy leaders for their, for their families, for their communities um, and for society in general, you know. At Yarnbark we strongly believe that young people are the keepers and protectors of, of very powerful knowledge and perspectives that will change and, and shape the future of this nation. I suppose the biggest challenge our young people are facing these days is being confronted with many different pathways, you know, some of which are very um, materialistic and seductive, um, you know, things like alcohol and drugs and, you know, family violence and and those types of things are very, you know, they're not a part of our culture. And I've had many elders tell me before that our, our pathways as Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people exist within the land and were set out during the time of creation. Our cultural mentoring programs want to help young people see through that materialism and see through those very sed seductive, you know, aspects of today's society. We want them to, to see through it and connect directly, you know, to the, to the very foundation that has been built by their ancestors. You know, we want to connect them to the, to the non-material aspects, such, you know, values such as connect, connection, respect, accountability, responsibility, authenticity. And we want them to represent those values in their life. You know, when I reflect as my, on my dad's story as a stolen generation's child, he was, removed from, he was removed from his mother at six months of age and placed in, in various different um, orphanages and foster families and institutions up until he was 18 years of age. He was then kicked out on the streets of nor the northern suburbs of Melbourne and only then was he notified of his Aboriginality. You know, for our young people, it's, it's a constant journey of, of reconnecting back to our, our cultural foundation. What I want to highlight is that that's what's so beautiful about Aboriginal culture. You know, it's a constant journey and there's always going to be a lifelong journey of reconnecting and understandings in front of you. I spent a day out on country in Tamworth, New, New South Wales, um, and we were, we were taken out on a bit of a tour and two, ne and two very knowledgeable elders were leading the way. And we arrived at this piece of very fascinating and beautiful rock art. Um, and the elder went on to say, um, you know, we don't know exactly what the old people were leaving behind here, but what we do know is they were, they were capturing a story, you know, that happened in this very place, a very significant moment that happened here in this very place, to capture and, and pass it on to the future generations. And in that moment, I had two thoughts in my mind. How are young Indigenous people today connecting and learning and practising knowledge and traditions? And how are we capturing, you know, the cultural narrative that we currently live? And in what ways are we leaving our stories behind? And we would really appreciate your support on this journey. Um, we've got some really amazing prizes um, and raffles available. Um, we've got, you know, one-on-one -on -one didge making sessions. Um, we've got on-country crafting experiences. We've got craft packages worth over $1,500. We've got art donated by, donated by our partner artist, Okira Austin. Um, you know, we're, we're, we've got some really deadly prizes and we would absolutely love and appreciate your support um, on our vision of strengthening our young people's culture and identity, um, you know, of this generation. So um, please get in contact with us with any questions um, and you'll find some more info in um, the GoFundMe page um, in our bio. Thanks, guys. Take care.